I wanted to show how one can change a rather complex diagram with plentiful information into something just a little more useful. Here's the original diagram from the New York Times of February 2008 that Nick Felton created based on data given to him. I don't know, nor does he, the source of this information. But nonetheless, here's how I explain this diagram in my IT workshops. Firstly, we have on the y-axis the percentage of households and on the x-axis the time in years between 1915 roughly and 2005. And what we're seeing here is the uptake of technologies across time. As you can see the header says it all consumption spreads faster today. In other words as we go to the right to the more recent times the lines of consumption or of take up become steeper compared to the lines on the left closer to 1900-1915 even though those lines are about items that we know so much take for granted telephones, electricity, radio, stoves, refrigerators and so forth. Also at the 50% level which I mark here usually an item has made its mark. Half the population has it in their homes and therefore it's here to stay. There is still room on the other hand for more manufacturers or sellers to enter the marketplace so it's still ripe for innovation. Notice too that as I draw the telephone on the actual keynote slide using software called Dosseri I can actually interact with the graph and draw the line of the telephone and I can also draw the line of the clothes washer. But notice, if you will, what both of these have got in common. It took a long time to get to 50%. But moreover, can you notice that there's a dip in their take-up? This is a fairly common understanding in technology uptake. And some people have called it the the valley of disappointment, when the promise held by these devices that our world will change, in fact, the promise isn't returned. And there's this disappointment. That's one explanation. The other explanation, of course, is that the monopolists have stopped innovating. No new changes have occurred. And so its uptake somehow decreases. But then a new player perhaps comes into the marketplace new materials, new ways of seeing things, new innovations, and the thing takes off again. So that's what this chart looks like. Let's now remove all of the complex data, the chart itself, leaving behind just the names of all of the items. Apple analyst Horace Dedu took this data and then reconfirmed it or reconfigured it. So Horace Dejew took this data and reconfigured it into a different kind of graph. Now information's lost because we don't see progress but watch what happens when we reconfigure it and now what we see here and we'll make it just a little bit bigger the blue line represents how long in years did it take for these devices to reach 5% take up and the brown or orangey line to go from 50 to 80 percent. And you'll notice again how it represents change over time. What's really interesting is that one of the oldest of the technologies represented here, the communication technology of radio, was one of the fastest uptakes. It only took about seven or eight years to reach uh, 50 percent. That's really interesting. Now because this data completes at 2005, they do actually has data that lets us go beyond 2005 and that's what this particular little line represents and that's the fastest uptake of all of these devices faster than the dishwasher the clothes washer, and so forth and I always ask my audiences to guess what would that be when they guesses aren't forthcoming I usually say you've probably got one in your pocket and that's when the answer generally pops out as the smartphone Okay. Actually, as if, if truth be told, because this technology uh, demonstration was done only up to 2008, uh, there is one piece of technology that's even faster in its uptake, and that's been the iPad.
Let's continue back to our original graph, however, which is really interesting. Here's the original graph from the New York Times, and I want to use the magic move cross between slides or the transition between slides to focus in on this corner, the top right hand corner where we have the landline. And you can see here in 2005, I've circled a dip in the landline. Somewhere along the way, landline sales are decreasing possibly because of increasing penetration of not so much smartphones, but just dumb mobile phones. And of course, that's accelerating even further uh, at the moment. So all of this was done, would you believe, in Keynote 6. But actually, I had originally done this in Keynote 5, and it easily ported across to Keynote 6. And you can see all the slides on the left-hand side that I used to create this particular image.